On the 6th of May 2017, widely renowned shoe and sporting apparel corporation Nike attempted to coordinate the fastest marathon run by a human in history by breaking the time of two hours. Nike's mission, aptly named Breaking Two, assembled three of the fastest marathon runners in the world and used modified running shoes to enhance running economy. Subsequently, a documentary was released about the preparation of the campaign as well as three new and innovative models of running shoe. One model worn by the runners during the marathon and two of which made available for public consumption. The eventual winner of this marathon simulation, Elliot Kipchoge, fell short of breaking the two hour mark by a mere 26 seconds. But this wasn't Nike's ultimate goal. As well as employing various marketing concepts to their campaign, Nike broke new ground by releasing a product in conjunction with a world record attempt. A pivotal marketing concept which Nike implemented into Breaking 2 was branding. These included employing highly qualified exercise developing a running shoe to maximise overall performance of the runner and staging the marathon on a Formula 1 race circuit in Monza, Italy. All of these factors not only serve as a vehicle for the differentiation of Nike within the running shoe market, but also shape the public's perception of Nike as a brand. Nike further promotes its image by possessing a brand personality that is in alignment with the aspirations of its audience. Nike's brand personality is portrayed as being athletic and having a sport of spirit, qualities which are sought after by the modern day individual. These qualities manifest themselves in the Breaking 2 campaign, which, sit, which sees three elite athletes use Nike's product to achieve an extremely challenging objective. To add, the pure groundbreaking nature of the Breaking 2 campaign no doubt also sparked the public's interest, promoting the public's desire to get involved in an event which made history. This same principle was seen in Red Bull's Stratos campaign, where stuntman Felix Baumgartner leapt out of a helium balloon on the edge of space and broke five world records. He was covered head to toe in Red Bull apparel and subsequently, Sales of the energy drink were 13% higher than the year. In recent times, almost all businesses and corporations have been forced to shift their marketing practices to a digital format to mirror the habits of the general population. In 2016, eMarketer surveyed companies across the US and found that of the companies with upwards of 100 employees, 89.5% of those conduct their marketing practices on a digital platform. It goes, without, it goes without saying that social media is an integral part of the modern marketing mix. Nike is no exception using content marketing to appeal to their online audience, which consists of 120 million people across Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. It was by utilizing their significant presence on these three digital platforms that Nike reached 19 million viewers alone in the duration of the Breaking Two Marathon. Content marketing aims at driving profitable customer action by distributing valuable content to a clearly defined audience. In the case of Nike's Breaking 2 campaign, much of the content surrounding the marathon was distributed online on Nike's various social media accounts. This can be seen as a calculated play on Nike's part 
As of 2017, when Breaking 2 was in production, 2.46 billion people used social media. In addition to social media, another form of content marketing is the use of a web page. In the pursuit of creating value for their target audience, Nike created an interactive web page outlining the four major components of Breaking 2. These include the attempt, the innovation, the runners, and the preparation. In each of these segments, Nike provides detail regarding each of the four components In the modern business world, companies can no longer rely on their prestige in the market to assure them of success. Due to the rapidly changing nature of today's marketing environment, corporations need to constantly strive to innovate their products in order to be competitive and retain the attention of consumers. A major concept which Nike pushed during their Breaking 2 campaign was innovation, more specifically the idea of continuous innovation. UC San Diego defines continuous innovation as the ongoing gradual evolution that occurs in our activities, operations and creations. In the pursuit of breaking two hours for the marathon, the team modified various aspects of the running shoe. These included the addition of a carbon infused nylon plate which Nike claimed improves running economy by 4% more than Nike's previous best running shoe as well as redesigning the shape of the sole in order to improve aerodynamic performance. Innovation in most cases is driven by a gap in the market where a more advanced need of the consumer is not being fulfilled by a certain market. The design of the running shoe has undergone many incremental changes over its history, however the unique V shape of the heel on the Nike Zoom Vaporfly is a fresh concept and is a seemingly successful modification. According to Doyle and Bridgewater of Warwick Business School in 1998, in order for an innovation to be successful, it must adhere to a certain success criteria. The modified product needs to add customer value. Introducing a new technology isn't what consumers are necessarily concerned with. It's the perceived value that can be derived from the product that sells. By claiming that their new model provides a 4% improvement in running economy, in conclusion, all successful companies make use of marketing concepts in order to differentiate their product from the rest. The use of branding, content marketing and continuous innovation multiplied by Nike's sheer ambition to differentiate itself in the market.